I wasn't convinced at the start of the season with him. And I think I mentioned that in a few videos. I just I didn't see what he was trying to do and what he was doing. Hello everybody and welcome to FIF TV. I'm Dov, he's Vieri, probably sick of us by now. Um, this is our Roma season review. Um, so we're gonna talk about Roma. Before we talk about Roma, as always, go into the description and go and buy things from the shop. There's Francesco Totti stuff for all you Roma fans. And if you're not a Roma fan, there's other stuff as well. Click on the link below and you can buy all the fantastic, wonderful merchandise you want. Right, so let's get stuck into Roma. Season review, third place in Serie A. Fantastic, fantastic Champions League run. That's the main thing, obviously. <laughs> That's Puts everything into thing. perspective. To be third with a Champions League semi-final in the bag. Is yeah. incredible. Last time Roma managed a Champions League semi final, wasn't even called the Champions League, it was the European <laughs> Cup. And I was not even, well, no, I was just 1984. Yeah, I was, I was, I was a little nipper. You, so, you were, you, nobody was even thinking about you. Really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. So, obviously, every, like Roma season has basically been like encapsulated in the Champions League. Serie A, they, they can expect it to be in the Champions League places, maybe a Scudetto. Maybe it's a challenge. They could have done more in Serie A, without a doubt. Come on, let's be honest. They they came six points short of Juve last season. They were second. So more was expected this year, for sure. But I think with changing the coach. Yeah, yeah so let's give him that. Like Next year, I'm expecting Roma to, to do that. So. so does Di Francesco, so he said. So they've done all right. Um, yeah, don't know Thanks to some key players. Who are? The big one, the big one, Alisson, the oh. goalkeeper. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Fantastic, brilliant, brilliant. Always goalkeeper. being great. Although, I don't know what it says much, it doesn't say much about Roma if your keeper has been your key player for the season. He's a, he's um, a member of the team, doesn't matter. He's a member, listen to him. Um, so, yes, yeah, Alisson's been fantastic. So good that Real Madrid want him, that's a good easy yeah. one. Um, the other one, uh, and th this is kind of. I think more for me, more for his performance against Barcelona at the Olympico, Eden Dzeko. Eden yeah, Dzeko probably played the best game of his entire career in that evening. Absolutely, but then he also immense. scored twice against Chelsea, he scored the winning goal against Shakhtar, um, you know, got goal against Liverpool. His Champions League run has been... It's been fundamental for him. He's been so, so good. He's been the key player, I think, for Roma, mainly in the Champions League. In Serie A, obviously, he's still being the main striker and you know, he's Edin Dzeko. We don't discover him this season. <laughs> Fantastic centre forward. Uh, other one, um, Daniele De Rossi, who I think has well, had one of his best seasons. He's been Without a doubt, fantastic. especially in recent years when he's grown older, more of a, of a leader rather than um, a key player on the pitch. Mm. He's had a great, great season, especially if you think about it his performances uh, in the Champions League as yeah. well and obviously that kind of presence. Um, even, it was a special uh, season for him as well, like losing Francesco Totti. This is the first season after Totti and leadership immediately went to well, it's, it's, De Rossi. It's the funny thing, because at the Olympico, they used to announce Totti as like the captain, the leader, the, band, the bandiera, the kind of this thing. And De Rossi would just be like, uh, like De Rossi, but obviously got a big cheer as well. Now, this season, I, did, I only noticed that a couple of weeks ago, they're, they're doing the same thing. De Rossi, Bandiera, Capitano, lead leader. I, like, De Rossi's been like, called so take that man. Capitan Futuro in yeah. Italy. Like, oh, yeah, that's what they used to call him. The sorry, future yeah. cap for 20 years old. I've made I mean, so yeah, long. Like 33 or 34, if I <laughs> yeah, he finally finals. managed. So, no. Uh, Credit to him as well. And then I think another key player for scoring those goals when Roma was struggling the most, um, Under. Yeah, I think he's been a revelation for them this season. Nobody expected too much, especially as him being essentially a replacement for yeah. Salah. And he's shown that he has a lot of talent. Yeah, and uh, someone to, to build on next season. Definitely, right. So key moments for Roma. In Serie A, the win against Napoli. Yeah, a way, a way win against Napoli for sure. Fantastic win for them. I think negatively we can think about when they when Schick didn't score against uh, Juve. Which that probably kind of 
um, put our dampener on the skidetto. Yeah, challenge. exactly. That, that was kind of when they thought back like, in hey, December. It's not going to be our day. So, but then obviously all the key moments in the Champions like League. Like basically the entire Champions. So from from the first game against Atletico when they should have lost and Alisson Alice was amazing yeah. and uh, it was nil nil. Game against Chelsea where they were both games against Chelsea and then they came back and won. Oh my God, amazing! The home victory against Shakhtar. Uh, the win against Barcelona will be, it's one of the key moments of, not of this season, of the Wonder. history of the end of the history, world. like so good. And then coming so close against Liverpool. Yeah. Um, I think maybe a, maybe another negative key moment of that Champions League was uh, first leg against first Liverpool. First leg, Di Francesco totally screwing it up. Yeah. I think if he didn't do that, they'd be in Kiev. Um, so some key moments. I think the Roma fans are going to remember this season just for that Barcelona for sure. win. They had um, the, the, the game against Juve, uh, the second last one they kind of played a montage of their season and when they, they obviously had the, the Champions League because they just qualified for it and they had Barcelona, everybody stand up and applaud yeah. them the Barcelona game so like the fans just are in love <laughs> with this game completely rightly so yeah. um, right coach so Di Francesco um, I wasn't convinced at the start of the season with him and I think I mentioned that in a few videos I, I just I didn't see what he was trying to do and what he was doing I see a bit more. You were that. wrong. <laughs> and I, well, yeah, yeah, you're allowed to be wrong. I was wrong. I was surprised by his charisma. Coming from a small club, <laughs> uh, he's been, uh, you know, he was like, this is how I want to play football. Mm. I'll adapt to my players as well, which is always mm. a positive. And even the way he was talking to journalists in press conferences, yeah. he, big respect to, to his season. And I think he mentioned it, and De Rossi mentioned it recently in an interview as well. It was only his first season. It took a while to adapt. Players adapting to him and him adapting to the players, getting to know each other. So it can only go better from there. Yeah. Well, he he, he wants to win the Scudetto. You know, like, yeah. Or he at least wants to challenge for it. He said that that's his, the next step for them. They've had their kind of transition season, if you want. Now it's build on that and we need to fight for the Serie A title. And that, I think... Roma are probably the best equipped side in Serie A to do it. After yeah, after moving on to the, the future of Roma, yeah. after now that we've, we've spoken about Di Francesco, obviously the two things are linked. They need to be Juve's main antagonist. Yeah, they're the like, team that they're... they're they have they're, to. They're, they're on par with Juve in terms of... Well, maybe not on par, but you know, they're the closest to Juve in terms of how the clubs run, the finances that they've got. Um, they and, need to have the a proper and the, goal. And the players and squad that they've got as well. I think Roma 100%. have a better squad than Napoli. They maybe don't have a, without a doubt. Yeah, they don't maybe don't have the best the same uh, uh, as good a start. They need they need to make sure they don't sell the key players and obviously all the money they made in the Champions League uh, is fundamental yeah. and they need to buy those maybe one or two not that many more um, to to better the eleven and maybe add a bit more to the squad depth. Yeah, I think so. And I think as well one thing that the season could maybe have given them is the belief that they can beat anyone yeah, for sure wow. they, they can play against Barcelona against Liverpool against Atletico against Chelsea and they can go toe to toe and against Juve as well they did the same yeah. with Juve they can go they, I think this season has shown that Nata that M Roma can go toe to toe with the best in Europe and I think maybe in previous seasons they would have been they would have felt like almost like the little brother fighting against the big yeah. brother knew that they right we'll, we'll try but we're going to lose but I think this season has shown that they can compete and I think that's good for the team mentality wise as well because Roma always have a history of bottling yeah <laughs> that is kind of what Roma do they have a history of bottling things I think this season's possibly one that's shown them right maybe this is something that we don't do anymore 100% maybe there you go what do you think everybody leave a comment in the description no, you can't leave a comment in the description in the comment section and let us know what you think, think about Roma can they build on this or are we going to see another fire sale in the summer where they sell our players? Let us know what you think as well. Um, and remember, social media, go on ForzaItalianFootball.com as well because there's wonderful things happening there. Everything's in the description. Uh, until the next video, there's nothing left for me to say apart from Arrivederci.